Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final episode of the Dark Souls walkthrough. We have offered all the souls to the Lord Vessel and the door is open. Now there's one last thing I must consume, our souls of great heroes. I made a mistake earlier in the guide, these give you 20,000 not 30,000. But there we go, we are as strong as we can be, we have consumed all of our souls. And with it, we will have the strength to finish this game. And resting at the Lord Vessel fully satiated will give you 20 Estus Flasks, so you'll have plenty for the final boss. Ah! Oh! The Lord Vessel is satiated! Magnificent! You are the righteous successor to Gwyn, the new Great Lord, and I am King Seeker no more. Your acquaintance was an honor. I must admit, I am fond of you humans. May you enjoy serendipity, and may the Age of Fire perpetuate. Indeed, the Age of Fire can now perpetuate. After I have defeated one last foe, Behold, the Black Knights, all marching, they followed Gwyn into this place. So ever wonder why the Black Knights are black and not silver? Well it's because their armour was charred black when Gwyn ignited this place. Welcome to the Kiln of the First Flame, the final area of the game. This is where Gwyn linked to the fire and perpetuated the Age of Fire, and in doing so charred his knights black. And as such, they are the enemies that are in this area. Every single type of Black Knight is here. So if you ever wanted to farm Black Knight weapons, then this is where you go and each one will drop a different colour Titanite Chunk. Oh, get a Black Knight Sword and a Titanite Chunk, very nice. They have a 100% chance to drop the Titanite Chunks, and the weapons, of course, are 20% each, just like usual. So yeah, you want to farm Black Knight weapons, here's where you go. You want to farm Black, you want to farm Titanite Chunks, again, this is where you go. But watch out, because these guys are pretty strong. They're all much stronger than their prior selves. Get a red tie night junk from that one. Man, the ground is just covered in ash. Alright, let's head over here. So there's not much to really explore in this area. It's a pretty short one. But there is something that you need to grab. Right after we deal with this guy. Come on. Smash, smash, smash. Oh, off he goes. Off you go, man. Right, over here is the only item in the area, but it's a big one. The Black Knight armor. There it is. Awesome armor set. Even better and more awesome than the Silver Knight set. So there you go. So... Now, all that is left is to make our way forward. And over there, look down there. That is the first flame down there, or at least where it was. Now there are only embers. So down here, more black knights. There's one wielding a great axe. Ooh! Great. Died before I even got to the boss. Great. Lovely. Just what I wanted. <sighs> See you there. Okay, we are back here. So now this time, don't roll off the edge. And you'll be fine. Come here, big guy. Oh god. 
almost did it exactly the same thing. But we're good. Get a white tie net junk. And there's only one left. The Black Knight Halberd. Whoop. The good old ass stab. Is still serving us proud. And another Black Knight Halberd. Is that free in one playthrough? Crazy. Alright. Here we go. The final boss. Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. This is all that's left of him. He has become hollowed with time. He's kept the fire link so long that it's ruined him. It's pretty sad. And this will happen to us if we link the fire. But alas, it must be done. So Gwyn, his attacks are very fast. He has all sorts of mix-ups. And it's all about very fast reaction times. And yeah, finding your openings. His openings are very small, but if you can find them, then you need to capitalize. And he'll do less damage the further away he is. And his damage is partly fire, so it will go through most shields. But yeah, his attacks have a lot of mix-ups, so it's all about reading them and reacting accordingly. But there is another way you can beat him. With parrying. He's the only boss in the game that can be parried, and that is because he is weak and frail. But I will not beat him that way. That's the best way to fight him. But again, I don't need to. I will fight him the normal way. And he is down. Bit easy, wasn't it? Well, it's not supposed to be hard. Because this is all Gwyn had left. Just a withered old man. So, that does it. Thank you everyone so much for watching this Dark Souls walkthrough. I will have walkthroughs of the games uh, 2 and 3 coming eventually, including their DLCs, and many more videos coming your way. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next walkthrough. Farewell.